Okay, so we've installed WAMP server, and it's running, but down here, see it's orange? And if we say restart, if we left click and say restart, it goes red, it goes orange, well, it should go green, and it's not. And we can check up here. Normally that is because something has the port, but I don't see that anything has the port, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and just change this port. So we're going to go to our C WAMP folder. And first we're going to change the port. We're going to go to bin, Apache, Apache 2.49, and go to config folder. And HTTPD config, we're going to have to right, right click and open that with some other form of editor because we don't have any file associated with that. So I'm going to use TextPad, and I'm going to do a find on port. And I'm just going to scroll down, and here we go. There's two entries, so I'm going to make these 8080. We're going to save that. We're going to restart. Left click, restart. Red, orange, green, perfect. <coughs> 8080. There we go. So now the only problem with that is if you come over here and say, well, I want to go to PHP my admin. It's not looking on port 8080. So to fix that, we're going to just go back to our WAMP folder. And one would think you would just change the INI, but actually it doesn't work that way. We're going to right click and go back to TextPad. We're going to do a search for localhost. There's one there, one there, one there. There we go. So there's three here that we need to change. Port 8080, port 8080, and port 8080. We're going to save that. We're going to close that. Now you can't just restart WAMP because this TPO will build this INI when you load the EXE. So we're going to right click this time and say exit. Right click and say exit. There he's gone. And I'm going to Windows S because I'm on Windows 10 and do WAMP and just start it back up. Red, green, okay. Now we're going to left click and go to PHP My Admin. And there we go. Voila. Now this is all very unsecure. So the next thing we're going to do is get this tidied up and get this a little bit more secure. Even though it's on your test environment, if you put this on your work network or your local coffee shop using Wi Fi, you really don't want to have ports exposed in your computer. So we're going to stop this recording here, and then we'll come back and secure that and move on.